Hello, Toddbog here with Breaking the Stream, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium 5. If you haven't caught it already, the Voice of L playthrough uh, was done to completion uh, just recently, and we managed to uh, bring the apocalypse and still win the game. So if you haven't checked it out, highly recommend you definitely look at it. It's a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of what they did, um, and, you know, we had some, uh, some fun and chicanery in the middle of that. So... Um, so in this new playthrough, we're going to be going through as a new race. As always, it's going to be beginner friendly and it's going to be played to completion. Uh, so uh, we had a request um, before I did the voice of L uh, to do the Hoburgers. So we'll use our usual settings, large map, keep a random society. Uh, we're going to turn on battle reports. Now just uh, battle reports is something I could default to on. I'd like to turn it on just because it isn't uh, defaulted to on for, uh, for the regular game. And to let you know that that's something you should turn on. So um, we'll go ahead and add a new player. So we have six AIs and ourselves, a total of seven. If you hit shift and then go plus, uh, you can up their difficulty. I like to play on the count difficulty so they get about twice what I get uh, on things. So click unique random players. And we're going to be playing as the Bergmeister. So uh, think hobbits. Uh, their Hobergers are a race of honest and well-organized halfmen. They're famous for the skill in farming, the skill in manipulating iron, and of course the best beer in Elysium. The wealthiest of the Hobergers is the Bergmeister, who's at the top of the hierarchy and leads the entire society. So, um, their horticulturalists, uh, so and horologists are their special units. Horticulturalists use uh, a weed uh, to uh, to do uh, summons and things like that, and the horologist uh, uses um, gems to do constructions and stuff. So, uh, clockwork mechanisms and things. So. Um, so you got You need mines. So you need iron, which is for the higher quality troops. You need gems, uh, also from mines, and then you also need uh, Hoburg villages, and then of course ancient uh, forests are also great for you. You're small and weak, and you move slowly. So this is going to be one of uh, the biggest reasons why a lot of people don't like this race. But uh, once you get it up and running, it can be very powerful. Enchanted weed, which is used for rituals. You can convert farms and you collect magical gems which can be used to create constructs so, so that's gonna be us there we go all right and we'll name ourselves, and away we go so we've got probably the crappiest starting troops other than maybe the troll king although the troll king gets special recruits all the time that make it more than worthwhile uh, but we'll show you what we have um, our starting units, uh, we have the Hoburg Soldier, which is uh, your baseline. One armor. Uh, I've got a large shield, which is nice. Blocks 0 to 2 extra damage um, and can block 0 to 4 in the range category. Your armor uh, is one of three stats that you're going to look at uh, when you start the game. Armor, hit points, and damage. So your armor straight up to, uh, removes damage from uh, you incoming. And as you can see, we only do 1 to 4 minus 1. So that means we only do one to three damage. Uh, the minus one only applies to the top number, not to the, your roll. So uh, in this case, the minus one. If you have a plus 10, for instance, you'd be rolling a one through 14 instead. So uh, something to keep in mind with that. But anyway, so armor one, that's actually pretty good for a starting troop. Uh, the large shield means you can block another zero to two or zero to four against range. It's a random roll there. Um, and then your hit points are three, so that's trash. Uh, most things will kill you in one hit if they can get through your armor. So, so that's your basic trooper. You got the defenders, which are uh, the same thing. They just have one more extra point of damage. Um, and then uh, my bread and butter, the Hoburg crossbow, uh, which does one to four damage. And uh, they don't have any armor, but that range attack is huge, uh, especially since it does one to four, which is... Uh, Slightly better. Now, the only problem with them is they only shoot every other round. So that's that's their issue. You start with a Hogmeister who moves fast. Uh, and by fast, I mean normal. And I'll explain that in just a little bit. And he has some nice attacks, but uh, he's a leader. And um, he'll usually charge out and get himself killed unless you put him with other Hogmeisters or uh, other uh, troops. Recruit-wise, these are all the different troops we get. Uh, slingers will be used occasionally. Militia, I'll never buy. Uh, they're zero armor, two hit points, and uh, they do one to two damage, so just absolutely not worth it. Um, slingers would just be better in every way because, uh, you know, their, their daggers do one to two as well, and they have the same two hit points, so um, I don't see a reason other than the higher initiative, I guess, because they're using a staff. Uh, there's no reason to get the militia. 
Uh, crossbows are going to again be a bread and butter. It does require iron, which we'll have to find. Soldiers are good, but the, um, the you saw those, you saw the defenders. Pike and Ear, um give up their shield, which is pretty bad, but they do have two armor base, uh, which is good, but they can attack it in two ranks, so that could be a useful thing. Um, what my bread and butter used to be were the Bergmeister Guard. Um, I think they'll still be because they still they get the extra hit point. They're at two armor with the large shield instead, and they do one to four damage. So um, those guys are pretty good, but they are in smaller numbers. Normally, you get recruits in groups of five. They get groups of fifteen and ten. So definitely uh, an interesting thing. Bergmeister Guard are going to be important for me because we need survivability to let my crossbows do their work. Because uh, we don't get a lot of punch, and the crossbows are our best bet for that. So. Um, and then Hog Knights uh, move fast and are pretty good, but the only problem is they're in groups of five. They still only have five hit points, which is what a standard troop has. Still have the large shield and the armor, though, so pretty good quality troops. The only problem is they rush ahead and they'll get killed unless you get them in large numbers. And even in large numbers, they're not that great. So, um, But we do have uh, our standard leader here and uh, the Hogmeister. So we're going to use Hogmeisters for scouting for sure. That is their purpose. Uh, as you can see, our contingent is pretty weak. Um, so those are the troops. We've got special powers. We can create a Hoburg village. It takes enchanted weed, though, so we'll have to wait a few before we can turn this farm into a Hoburg village. As you can see, it goes from being one gold income to three gold income and two weed income. So it's pretty nice. Our own home gives us a two and one. And we also start with a trade. Excellent. So since we start with a trade, we're going to buy iron. It costs us one gold each for each point of trade, so we only have one. So every turn we'll spend one gold and we'll get one iron. Not the best rate, but uh, you know, we'll have to do. So as you can see, two uh, movement for infantry, three movement for the uh, horse. So uh, they move slightly faster. Standard infantry uh, for every other race is three. So that shows you how much slower we are to start with and we're affected by all the terrain. So. Let's go ahead and do some scouting, though. This isn't looking great. That's two deer. Okay. Um, let's just murder those guys. Oh, that's great. Creeping doom, huh? Okay, well, we'll worry about that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much uh, what we've got so far. So uh, we'll uh, continue to uh, seek out new resources and utilize them. All right, cool. Those deer did not pick a fight. Got nothing but forest near us, which will be helpful later, but for the time being, it is not. So, Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a hamlet, so we can grab that for some extra gold. Ancient forest will be useful later, and levees, so we'll be able to take them out too. Not with our hogmeister, though. Uh, so, a bergman and a horticulturalist. The horticulturalist we really want, but we can't get right now. Uh, so we'll take that and we'll kill the slinger here. Oh, yeah, overrun. I keep forgetting about that. Um, you are going to continue scouting. Okay, so we got a tower. So it's a fortified structure. It's got a wooden gate. Um, takes a bit to break through, but the archers will be able to shoot you the entire time. So we're not taking that right now. Go ahead and end our turn here. All right. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and murder the snake. Giant spider kind of freaks me out right now with the forces I have, but yeah. just keep scouting out, see what we can find. So battle in the forest. So this is our battle, everything goes automatically, so uh, basically everybody will move and then they'll attack on initiative order. Um, and as you can see, we're shooting at the snakes. So crossbows did their part. Um, nice and easy. So, and I figured it was going to snow, so that's why I'm here. Uh, so snow increases your movement cost. So you can see that movement costs one plus one due to snow. Um, so it takes our very slow guys and makes them even slower. Horologists, yay! Okay. So now with the horologist. Um, Let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll take care of that in just a second here. 
horologist. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves some crossbows. And uh, we'll take a look at the horologist here. So he's got a coil spring gun. Um, so range four. Uh, it's okay. He's got himself a hammer, which is not great. But he's a ritual caster, and that's the important part here. So uh, he has the ability to take gems and turn them into constructs. So right now he can produce ruby constructs if we have them. Um, right now we don't have any, and I don't see any uh, gem production near us, so that's unfortunate, but uh, we'll figure that out eventually. So, All right, there's a castle here, Fort Righteous. That's actually fairly easy to take after the catapult fires, um, so not the worst thing in the world here. Uh, let's see. Five crossbows should be able to defend, but... Frillo, we're going to just sentry you for now until we figure out what we can do. Battle in a hamlet. So we'll view. And as you can see, our crossbows did all the work, as expected. Uh, let's see. We got a bunch of mountains down here, so maybe I should head down there next. We'll go and swing by and pick up uh, the rest of these troops here. Oh, gosh. Two swan. Okay. Should be able to take those if they attack. All right. Spring is here. Perfect. So that's as far as we can get. Frillo, let's go ahead and join our lord. And uh, we'll chill there. Oh, oh. Yeah. So this is the fellowship. Hey, welcome. Uh, so we got a white wizard. We've got a dwarf. We got a couple of of the Hoburgers. Um, we got ourselves an unexpected hero, a regular hero, and then of course a longbowman. So so this is the fellowship. They're really cool. They get magic items so you can get some of these. That would be nice. However, uh, they would pretty much overwhelm us right now as the uh, Bergmeister. But if we can c catch them with our regular army then we would get access to some cool magic items. So that'd be neat. But yeah, this is a uh, Oh, great. It's the one army that I can't handle. Because I need my walls to protect me and everything here flies. I mean, their troops are a trash tier as can be as well because they've got the five hit points. <coughs> and they only do one to four damage. Uh, so yeah, we gotta kill him. We're gonna take some losses though, and that's unfortunate. Ow! Oh, bandits. Nope, we won. Uh, until the other army comes in. Alright, ambushed in a farm. It was bandits. So, obliterated them. Now, uh, the swans, no problem. This guy is a problem. That thunderhead is terrifying. Um, so he's gonna do some lightning damage and stuff, but... Crossbows should eat alive those front guns. Dang it. And he got our horticulturalist with that last bit of lightning, unfortunately. So, or horologist, sorry. Um, that sucks. But we did eliminate their army, so they stopped him from, prote or from attacking. But we did lose quite a lot, unfortunately. Uh, and then they attacked us here in the farm. This guy's pretty neat. Uh, two armor hits for 1 to 12 damage, like a truck. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, all of these guys are worse than even my Hoburgers. So, so that was a bad couple turn of events. But, um, ah, left the crossbows there. Forgot he was under a different army. So we're going to transfer those. We're going to need frontline troops. Um, I have to go with soldiers for now, huh? Do that, I guess. Oh, that's a troll king. And that's another of the stupid air guys. All right. But I think I can eliminate them if I go in. Crossbow should finish that off because you do not have the um yeah so we won 
And that should have eliminated him. Yep. Uh, so fairly suicidal when it comes to their troops. But yeah, those crossbows were too much for them. So they did manage to kill one in one. So it's going to happen. But all right. Two, three, four, five. Leave those guys to handle whatever comes up. Of course, they took my thing. So this is the biggest problem with this group is it's very dependent on the map being friendly. We'll let the crossbows tear that spider apart. Uh, and the map often is not friendly when you're playing this faction. So, all right. So you'll see crossbows go. All right. So this is a great boar. He's got 18 hit points, hits for one to six. He also berserks, so he'll deal da extra damage once he takes damage. So we'll show you that when he, uh... so right now he does one to six damage. As soon as we shoot him once, there. He now does one to seven damage. So not a great upgrade for him, but uh, there are definitely bigger things that can also rampage, uh, such as minotaurs. And those things are giant pains in the you know what, so. All right. Do not want to run into this. Okay, so this is a swarm. And the reason I don't want to run into it is it's got invulnerability. Cannot be harmed by slash, pierce, or blunt damage. Uh, doesn't matter if the damage is magical or not. And that's all we've got. So if it attacks, we lose. So let's see if we lose. We didn't. Okay. All right, we need that scout. Yeah, we need that scout. Scout lets you see invisible things so you don't get ambushed like that. Come back here and take the scout. Can't afford to be ambushed with my only army. Got another horde. Oh, we got a horticulturalist this time, so that's awesome. Uh, he's a little bit better because his special powers allow him to do animal summoning, so we can get some things that can help us here. Um, he can also create Hoburg villages, so. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, let's move here. We'll do animal summonings with him and uh, we'll create the Hoburg village with the Lord. So let's do that. Use, create. So now we're getting more gold, which is good. Use farm animal summoning, which is my favorite. Because you get giant ants. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Uh, giant ants are fantastic. Uh, when you have them, fan uh, pain in the butt when you don't. Two armor, 21 hit points. They do an acid spray that ignores the armor, and they bite for one to six. Uh, they're great. Um, they're also semi-stupid, so if you don't take control of them, which uh, we should. Oop, no, wrong person. We should take everybody under our control. Um, so now we have ourselves a fairly good army for this part of the game. We still can't take on a troll uh, king. Murder that. Perfect. We'll go here. Take control of our stuff again. That's the Troll King's other army, which is trash. So this guy hits hard. 1 to 15, 22 hit points, but he has no armor. So crossbows will eat him alive. We'll eat the rest of them alive with crossbows as well. And then we have giant ants. So let's just make sure there's no other surprises. Uh, that we may be able to take with the ants now, but battle in the plains. Like I said, those crossbows, darn good. All right, let's keep going down here. The enemy seems to be up there. We want to uh, try and find some mines because we need gems. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so with the ritual, you can get the ritual of mastery. That takes a lot more. Uh, but if you could do that. Stupid animals, I hate them. Um, if you can do that, you'll find yourself in a good spot because um, uh, you'll be able to get more powerful rituals, more powerful animals, that kind of thing. So, All right, they're just going to take all my stuff up here, aren't they? They just took the one for now, but essentially I'm waiting for a caster to come under our control in the recruitment screen, so it'll be uh, iffy. As we wait for that. Uh, gobbos. So they do have goblin bowmen, but I think our ants will make short work of these guys. Um, tower is important because it has that citadel. And uh, you lose the game if you lose your last hero or if you lose the last citadel. So give me something, some kind of hero. Okay, Bergman. I guess we'll have to settle for that. 
Bergman. And you'll take some crossbows with you because you'll need them. Take that many crossbows. Should be able to kill with two snakes here, so we'll do that. Snag this. So this is a uh, 10 guys. That's nothing to be super worried about. These guys, though, are a bit tougher because they also have two armor or regular shield, which only does 0 to 1 um, against us or 0 to 2 against range. Uh, but they hit for 1 to 7, so they're pretty sturdy. Oh, and they've got uh, 7 hit points, I think. 6 hit points, man. So they got twice the hit points as our regular guys. These guys also have 6 hit points, but they have no armor, so they'll just die to everything, so... Um, we'll worry about that later. Okay, battle in a Hoburg village. We killed the snakes, as expected. So, uh, one thing to worry about snakes is that they do have tiny, which means 50% uh, chance to miss. So, if you roll real unlucky, you could miss, but we had a lot of shots going at them, so we're, we're a okay. Alright, let's power up this force a little bit. Uh, create a Hoburg village. And uh, farm animal summoning. Oh, so much better. Because you can get some trash tier stuff with that summon. So you can get uh, rabbits are the most common thing I see. Snakes are pretty good. Um, but yeah, it can be uh, it can be a bit bad. So, all right. So there's an iron mine here for us. These things though are nasty because they ignore armor. Uh, which include our shields and such. And hitting them uh, means that any unit damaging them will take acid damage proportional to the damage done. So in this case, they take half the damage they inflict upon the pseudopod. And then they can cause them to split um, as well. They're blunt and pierce resistant. So our swordsmen will be okay, but the, uh, the crossbows will only be doing half damage. So. Um, so pretty tough endeavor to fight three of them with the force we have. Although the ants, the ants are... Here, they do acid spray themselves. I think these guys are acid resistant. Yes, they are. So they'll just attack with their strikes. I mean, we kind of need that mine, though. Uh, we need the coal mine, though. With the additional ants, we'll, we'll be able to crush that. So we'll do that. Uh, we're up to two trade now because that was a market village that came with trade. So that was good. Um, we can take that ancient forest now, so we just need to wait till we can recruit, and then we can bring that under our control, and it'll give us enchanted weeds. So, all right. So this right here is the most powerful archer, except he only fires every three rounds. He does one to ten damage at a range of seven, so that's fantastic. And as you can see, he did three damage to our little ant. But yeah, the crossbows eat them alive, and now he's in melee. So, yep, perfect. All right. Gold in oh, and gold income is seasonal. So in the spring, um, we'll get more. As you can see here, um, we'll get more weed income as well um, during, I believe it is the summer. So so there are uh, things that uh, affect that for sure. So, all right, we'll chill one more turn there. We'll grab some swordsmen and then we'll go and try and take that ancient forest. Over here, we want that iron mine. Let's slag these bandits first oh we're out of movement because we went on here went the snow hogmeister and hoberg scout all right we'll go ahead and kill here uh that's not great these guys move fast they hit hard um and then they have two armor with the shield so um and uh yeah uh, let's see. Let's grab the... Oof. Do we want the Hogmeister instead? Yeah, let's grab the Hogmeister for now, because at this point i got to wait around until he goes away. Uh, let's see. We're going to come down here to scout over here. And you're chill. Battle in a forest. <laughs> I love having those ants. All right. Let's go here. And let's go ahead and do a farm animal summoning. And that's what I usually get. But those are uh, fodder for any shooting attacks. 
So um, we'll, we'll try and use them. So I don't know where those cavalrymen went, but I need to wait around anyways for another recruit. Ah, oh, that's not great. What are you? So yeah, okay, that's what I needed to see. So this is a, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank on the class? Um, the life force guys, Scourge Lord. So he's gonna kill my scout just like he should. So nothing to really show here. Desert warriors are just regular bowmen um, with a desert move. So otherwise it's all just crossbows which are just better than ours uh, because they have the uh, full damage capacity. Otherwise, yeah. And the ghouls. Okay. I mean, we should be able to take this. Um, let's go ahead and do one more farm animal summoning. Those are snakes. Snakes are slightly better than rabbits because they can climb walls. And so we'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, let's do that recruit. With the iron we've got now, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some Bergmeister Guard. And I think that's going to be worth it uh, just because they're that much better protected. That extra point of armor makes, makes a big difference. Um... Yeah, we'll chill for a little bit here. All right, battle in the guard tower. So this thing can actually do combat tunneling, but since it was full, it couldn't actually get in there. But it's going to climb the walls in the back and hit them. And as you can see, they are trash. So beautiful. Uh, we did lose a soldier and a snake. So, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. So now here we could actually do recruitments here and improve our forces. So that's important to note. Uh, more importantly, we won't lose if they take our capital. So at this point, we're gonna chill one more turn. I wanna get that ancient forest under our control if we can. Um, I'd love to recruit here. Oh, the other thing about Bergmeister Guard and the Pikeneer is they cost less gold. So that's also a big boon. Because uh, gold right now and iron are going to be both hard to get, but sometimes you'll have more of one than the other. So being able to balance that and still get quality troops is good. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to move here to do scouting. That's going to kill us in turn, but yeah, I figured he was going to come straight up. All right. So ghouls are pretty nice. They're 10 hit points only. Um, they're basically undead but they do one to four damage but more importantly uh they cause disease and if they kill the target it'll turn them into ghouls so you can actually create more ghouls with that um yeah we're not going to mess with that oh we could now we can get the bergmeister guard or should i go with more crossbows I think crossbows actually would be better huh all right, so not a good front line, but they don't have much of a front line either, and our shooting is more numerous than theirs. All right, let's kill them. Let's get them out of our hair. Okay. So overall, not bad. We lost 13 crossbowmen. Oof, and we lost five Bergmeister Guard, but we managed to kill off their 30 units, so. Um, so, pretty much uh, set us back for a turn, maybe a year, in terms of the way this game does its math, but. Seems like the West is bad. There's a lot of things to the West. And of course, you took my freaking coal mine. Mm. And you're just on a mountain with giant centipedes. No, nothing you're defending. All right, next turn we'll be able to do a recruit, and we should be able to get out there. Transfer. Let's do... At this point, I'm going against the forest. I need more troops rather than less. And the soldiers 
should be sufficient because the crossbows will do all the damage. Okay. We'll leave three crossbows behind. And we'll begin the march up to get Bogger Wold. As you can see, it gives us three uh, ancient, or three weed, which is nice. Um, you guys. I keep getting near this thing. There's another ancient forest. We can kill that. So long as this doesn't attack us. Alright, battle in the forest. This is. Okay, battle in the forest. Beautiful. Alright. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. And this will stop the uh, forest from building any uh, more animals to come and take my stuff, which will be nice. All right. We are absolutely broke, and we can't do anything about it. Because the winter hates us. All right. Bunch of deer. That's not a problem. So, we murdered them. Perfect. And then these guys just gonna have to take ah. Uh, of course, this is a super powerful forest. Uh, he's got alchemist mortar, which gives him acid resistance and alchemy. That's not really a problem. The magic lamp, though, is with an air elemental coming out, and then gem of true seeing. So, and then just the menagerie. Oh my god. Uh, so, yep. I guess you guys can't take that ancient forest. At least not right now. Um. At this point, i got to go into the centipedes to get rid of them. But that definitely helped my weed income, for sure. Battle in the mountains. We killed the centipedes. No reason to see that one. I'll go ahead and grab that. And I guess we'll kill you, too. And that should keep that ancient forest protected for a while. Um, I do have to worry about serpents. Seven of them. I can't do anything about that. So, if they attack, we lose. Whew. I saw the loss. So, the Scourge Lord got eliminated. So, the High Priestess got him. That's good to see. Alright, so we're going to have to chill here. Because uh, you're going to need more troops before we can try and take out Bog or Wold. You guys can't do anything. Okay, Summer's here. Um, actually, I should take all of that under our command here. There we go. There's a gold mine we can take from somebody. Or a coal mine. At this point, we want more crossbows. Okay. Thought I had another injured one, but I guess not. We'll leave five behind. And this army can come down and uh, retake our stuff down here. Oop. Accidentally hit the S key here. So just make sure you activate. All right get a hero but no we're gonna take that 20 dwarves but with our ants we should be able to take that and then that'll put us in a fantastic spot uh, let's see do i risk it yeah it's mountains wanted to check that spot it was not scouted so all right what do we got here what is green i don't know Kobolds, that's a problem. Okay, yeah, we're not attacking this. The kobolds themselves are not a problem. They're uh, one armor, three hit points, um, and they do the same damage as we do. So they're like us, um, except their elemental resistance is pretty good. This thing is a beast, uh, only because it has 55 hit points with three armor, so a lot of our stuff's going to bounce. Um, I do have to figure out what you are, though. Standard infantry, you've got a firebrand that can do some damage, but um, we got a uh, cultist, high cultist on our hands because they've got these hybrid fishermen. So, okay, we'll go ahead and crush into them. Um, do that. And we'll show off. Oh, I eliminated the high cultist. So, this is his last army here. 
Ah, nice. We managed to entangle him so he can't attack. That firebrand would have done some damage otherwise. Like there, you saw. So, not bad. Alright. We have contributed to the demise of two of our opponents. But we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, this is definitely precarious. Um, I did find some mines, so that's good. Uh, once I get a horologist again, uh, those mines will start producing gems, which we can then collect, but we don't have one right now, which is unfortunate. It is putting us behind on our economy, but we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep making this happen. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.